Number one, the genetic family tree. The Earth family tree consists of DNA-based organisms, which is virtually all life on Earth. The genetic similarity between human to human is 99.5%. But what's more mind-blowing is how closely related we are to all life. We share 96% of the same genes as chimpanzees, 90% with cats, 85% with mice, 80% with cows, 60% with chickens, and by continuing to study DNA, one realizes that all life is part of a family tree, the Earth family tree. Number two, humans are animals. Why do most humans think that they are not animals? It is simply because of the lack of any scientific knowledge, or just plain ignorance. All life can be traced to the first single-celled organisms that lived in the primordial oceans 1.5 billion years ago. With these facts alone, one could appreciate life a bit more. One could redefine the word people. Due to the current condition of man, we classified ourselves as separate or above all other forms of life. Frankly, most humans view animals as nothing more than machines. What I mean is, most people believe that animals don't feel as we feel, think as we think. And yet, the genetic evidence suggests that we are animals as well. All of us begin this life as infants. We then go through the motions of life, experiencing all that life has to experience, eventually becoming adults, and to hopefully have children of our own. We all sleep, eat, drink, and mate. We all desire to thrive. We all cling to life. So why do humans think that they are any different from the rest of life? Even though we create cities and technology, we are still animals. The similarity between all life cannot be ignored, especially our similarity to our closest cousins, mammals. We all have two eyes, a nose, two ears, two lungs, a heart, and four limbs. Sure, we don't have tails anymore, but we used to have one. Number three, animals are people. All animals feel. All animals think. Each human being has a different personality from one another, just as each cat has a different personality from one another. And the same concept applies to dogs, pigs, birds, and so on. All sentient beings are unique to their own consciousness. Nothing is a carbon copy of something else. We are all unique. We are all points of perspectives. There are cultures around the world who view animals and plants as part of the term people. These cultures are looked down upon by our society. Our society that views animals as commodities, resources, and pets. Number four, Holocaust for profit. Due to our ignorance, many sentient beings suffer a life of torture consistently day by day. Much like how we are all opposed to the Holocaust, many people are opposed to factory farming which is a holocaust for pigs, cows, and chickens. These creatures have no idea what true life is. They are born in hell, and they die in hell, consistently. We've turned these races into slave races. The many cultures that made up what we call the Native Americans held respect for all animals. They acknowledged that they were essentially eating people. Whether these people were elk, deer, moose, turkey, whatever, they understood the concept of equilibrium and would never subject any form of life to a lifetime of torture. These cultures possessed the wisdom and knowledge that shaped their behavior towards animals and towards nature. Number five, civilizations built on the backs of animals. Humans base their inventions and technology on the abilities of many different animals and plants. On this basis alone, we've achieved our advanced technological status by learning from animals. In fact, civilizations would not have been possible were it not for the help of animals. We use them for labor, farming, clothing, medicine, and food. The list actually goes on and on when you research the facts of the matter. So we learn from animals and their abilities, but we do not learn from their wisdom, how they live their life, and what fulfills them. Animals are in tune with the moment. They simply live in the now. They do not overconsume. They do not disrupt the equilibrium with the surrounding environment. And they care deeply for their family. They value community. They work together to progress their tribes. The ones who lead are also the ones who follow. They are in synchronicity with one another. And before humans began destroying the earth, 
Their lives were limitless. Not a single road divided the land. Each and every one of life's creatures is a point of perspective, a point on the consciousness grid which extends as far as there is life in the universe. 